Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss exponential and logarithmic function. So in this video, I'm going to show how to find the inverse function, graph sketching, and then state the domain and range. So now, let's focus on the inverse function. Let f inverse x is equal to y fy will be equals to x so now i'm going to substitute x with y so fy will be equals to log base 3 bracket 4 minus 3 minus y over 2 then as we all know fy actually is equals to x so now I'm going to replace it. So where we have x is equals to log base 3 bracket 4 over 3 minus y over 2. Then I'm going to express the situation so that y become subject. So as we all know, this is what we call a log form. So log base a n is equals to x. So now I'm going to convert to index form where we have n is equals to a to the power of x. So in this case, we will have 3 to the power of x is equals to 4 over 3 minus y over 2. Rearrange the situation and we will have y over 2 equals to 4 over 3 minus 3 to the power of x. So then I'm going to multiply both sides with 2. So we will have y is equals to 8 over 3 minus 2 bracket 3 to the power of x. Then y actually is equals to f inverse x. So finally, f inverse x is equals to negative 2 bracket 3 to the power of x plus 8 over 3. So now we have the inverse function. So regarding the domain for the inverse function would be negative infinity until infinity because this is the exponential function. So now I'm going to focus on graph sketching. So step number one, identify the domain. So as we all know, log base 10 x, the x greater than zero will be the domain. So for this case, log base 3 bracket 4 minus 3 minus x over 2. So 4 over 3 minus x over 2 greater than zero. So rearrange the situation, rewrite, and then x will be less than 8 over 3. So the domain for f will be equals to negative infinity until 8 over 3, where 8 over 3 is not included. Then we notice that x equals to 8 over 3 actually is a asymptote. So after we determine the domain, so now is to determine the direction of the graph. So if the coefficient of the x is negative, so the graph will be towards the left. If the coefficient of x is positive, then the graph will towards the right. So in this case, the coefficient of x is negative 1 over 2. So meaning that our graph will be towards the left. So the first situation will be passing by the y-intercept at the uh, above the x-axis. And we denoted it as a 
Second situation will be passing through the origin, we denote it as B. Third situation will pass by the Y intercept, which is below the X axis, we denoted it as C. So, in order to determine the situation A, B, and C, we need the help from the value of Y. So, when x equals to 0 okay so f 0 will be equals to log base 3 bracket 4 over 3 minus with 0 so our answer will be log base 3 4 over 3 so based on the calculator log base 3 4 over 3 is approximate 0 0.26 Okay, so from here we can see that 0 0.26, the value for F0 or Y will be around here. So now our situation will be A. Okay, the Y in the set will be uh, above the X axis. So now we are going to sketch the graph. So, based on the information, we have log base 3, bracket 4 over 3 minus x over 2. So, based on the coefficient, the graph is towards the left because the coefficient is negative. Then, we have the domain and we identify already the x equals to 8 over 3 is the asymptote. Then, followed by the situation, we have a. So, basically, our graph will be something like this. Then we need to find the y-intercept and the y-intercept will be log base 3, 4 over 3. Next, we are going to identify the x-intercept. So where we have y equals to 0, okay, so we have 0 is equals to log base 3, bracket, 4 over 3 minus x over 2. So since this is a log form, so we need to convert to index form and we will have 3 to the power of 0 equals to 4 over 3 minus x over 2. Rearrange the situation and we will have x over 2 equals to 4 over 3 minus 1. And x over 2 will be equals to 1 over 3. Then finally, x will be equals to 2 over 3. So here will be 2 over 3. So now we are going to discuss the domain and the range. So based on the diagram, the domain is negative infinity until 8 over 3, where 8 over 3 is not included. And referring to the value of y, the range will be negative infinity to infinity. Why? The minimum value for y okay, should be negative infinity and the value for y as well, maximum, would be positive infinity. So here we are and thanks for watching.